Layla, what's required for democracy to endure another 250 years in the United States? So we talked a little bit about polarization, right? And I, I, I guess I want to dig a little bit deeper into that because from my, where I sit, I think there's really three main drivers of how our democracy and how our country has gotten so polarized in this moment. Um, one is there are some structural changes that I think we can make to our institutions, some policy changes that make it easier for people to participate in the system and for the system to fully listen and be accountable to its citizens. And so those are some you know, laws maybe that we, we might want to change. The second thing is more of the social uh, piece of it, and that is the things that break social cohesion, things like social media um, that create a echo chambers and a distorted perception of reality um, that make it harder for us to know other people or to connect with those who might be or think differently from us. And so that's another real driver, I think, of polarization. Um, and the third thing is sort of what I was just talking about right now, it's leaders. And when you have leaders who um, are conflict entrepreneurs or who seek to exploit the system for their own profit, then we're doomed. But if you have leaders who want to step up and lead with integrity and bring people together and find ways to meet the needs of, of the people um, and fully bring the people along in that process, not to dominate them, but to be alongside them. I think that is the third and, and critical key that we need to make sure that this American experiment lasts another 250 years. And so we work very, very much on the um, leadership piece of it. And um, that looks like equipping them to just be successful with leadership training, leadership development, connecting them to good innovative policy experts or each other to trade policy ideas. Um, some of the things that we've actually looked at are, it's really hard actually to serve an elected leadership right now at the state level in particular. You know, the average salary is somewhere around $35,000 a year. Most state lawmakers hold multiple jobs. They don't have any staff who are doing research for them. So some of those things to say, well, what do leaders need to actually lead effectively? Um, and as we look forward 250 years, um, I think there's, of course, a huge piece for people, voters, citizens to play and being informed and engaged. I think there is a really, really important role for leaders to play in better representing the people who elected them to serve. <laughs>